Hello everyone. We just got home. I had a granola bar because we are starving. So I have some bad news, some sad news, but also some exciting news. So unfortunately, our little friend, the little palm tree that has caused me so much drama has unfortunately passed away. Do your research. I'm doing my research now. I have so many like things open about all these plants I have. <laughs> it caused me to like look at all the other plants we have. Our chives had, I think it was, I think I saw like one little spider mite. But then I looked deeper, the stems of this chive plant, there was a bug, it was like a black bug and it was like big and I was like, <laughs> I was like, great. I was like, now another one has it. And that night, the night before, I had them touching another plant because I just didn't think it would have bugs, right? It was touching a different plant. So then it made me look at them all over again, all of them. And they all look fine besides the chives and besides the palm. So I was like, great. Like, now I got to do the same thing to this plant. Aww. Okay, I saw that black bug. I Googled it. I was like, why does my chive have this black bug in it? Apparently, it's like a thrip or a thurp. I forgot what they're called. And they're common, I guess, in bugs like that, especially when they come from like a nursery or like a farmer's market. I was like, great. So I was stressed out. I went to the shower again i scrubbed her down i checked again when i finished and i only i didn't see any black bugs but i saw one little spider mite and i was like great like what do i do now you have to treat them really fast because they multiply like crazy and i checked it this morning before we left and the palm had mold at the the base so i was like great i was upset and sad but also relieved because i didn't have to deal with this anymore i could throw it out and i told elizabeth i was like what do we do do we like solve it or do we throw it out and she's like oh, throw it out if you want i was like okay <laughs> I have decided that I'm gonna stick with my tomatoes and my bell peppers and my herbs so far. Apparently herbs also get bugs if you like, don't take care of them, I'm stressed out. I decided that I wanted to buy matching pots for my herbs and everything like that because they're gonna sit on the shelf. I want to buy white ones, but they're like $2 more expensive. So Elizabeth's like, you should paint them because I got black ones. So I got these flower pots from Amazon in a pack of 10. They have drainage at the bottom. They're all the same, which is what I wanted. And they also come with their little um, saucers for underneath. Yeah, they're like a, like a clay gray. So I'm gonna repot them today. Maybe you'll see me repot them. I don't know how to do that. So you're gonna see me fail. Planters are gonna make fun of me. Planters are gonna be like, ah! Because the people on Facebook were like, ah! To me and all the things I was doing wrong. <laughs> so also I have a mini haul today. We went to like three garden centers today. Yesterday we stopped by Walmart. We needed a few things. Elizabeth saw this one. She liked it. It reminds us of like a seaweed from like SpongeBob. So I think I wanna try focusing on succulents because those seem simple to live with. And they're so cute. And there's so many different ones. I was looking at them today. I was trying, trying to think about how I was gonna grow all these vegetables and stuff because I think they need like 10 inches of like soil and rootage. So I was thinking of like garbage cans, you know, and I can just drill holes in the bottom for a drainage. My whole aesthetic for this balcony slash like my whole gardening journey was to get um, like those planter crates, you know what I mean? Thanks, Bob. Ooh, looking nice. Here is my KD, looking nice. Anyway, so I always wanted some of those and I've been Googling them. I was like, simple, right? All you gotta do is buy this like wooden planter. And I've been looking and they've been like 200 bucks. And I'm like, okay, I am not spending that much money. <laughs> looking on Facebook Marketplace, which I'm telling you guys is cheap sometimes, right? I was looking at that and there's like some really disgusting wooden ones that was free. And I was like, I could, I could do that. I could do something with that. It was like so early in the morning. And then when Elizabeth woke up and I told her it was like gone already. Everything at Dollar was closed. Even the gardening se uh, section, which is so annoying and suckish because they have so many like gardening things for like a dollar, right? And I wanted to go thrive there with all my gardening essentials. So I spent my money a different way. It's probably a dumb idea, but I got these bags, like these, what do you call it? Like planter bags, grow bags is what they're called, I think. We went to Home Depot today, Home Depot Garden Center. We went to Canadian Tire Garden Center and we went to uh, Superstore Garden Center. And I got another succulent. Very exciting. I will show you this one as well. I found this one at Home, Home Depot and it's so cute. Isn't it fun? I like this one a lot. I think it, like, look at this. It reminds me of like, uh, like coral or seaweed, more seaweed, I guess. This one's more so seaweed, right? But this one reminds me of like coral swimming in the ocean. And I thought these went well together with like the SpongeBob theme for some reason. Later. showing you that I'm trying to propagate some succulents. I saw that two of these have started rooting. This one and this one, they've started rooting. I'm really excited. I'm gonna try to put them in soil and mist them like lightly. I think it's once a day or every other day, something like that. 
so they can start to grow a baby succulent. I'm excited, I'm nervous. I know that it's not 100% success rate, so I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be good at it, <laughs> but I'm excited to try. These are all the same. All of these baby ones in this tray are all from the same plant. Okay, so I just put them right here. Okay, I might have accidentally put a little bit too much water, but they look fine, and I'm excited to see how they grow. I hope it works. This is my first time doing this, and I hope I can keep doing this. This is, you know, practice, so I'm excited. The next day. He's so cute here, you see? He doesn't even see. He's all on the armrest. He's he is so big, and he's lying. He's good. perfectly, like, look at his booty. He's perfectly lying he's on lying it. On. I don't know how he does this. I don't yeah, think, no, it. his legs aren't even out. It's just like, he's perfectly lying on it. I was editing my video, I finished, but Elizabeth tells me she's coming home and that we have to go somewhere really fast because she found some stuff on Facebook Marketplace that she needs. I have decided to make it a hobby that every time I'm leaving somewhere, I look at the free stuff on Facebook Marketplace mm -hmm. and on Kijiji for the Canadians out there. Yeah. Um, just so that like, you know, if I'm on my way home, I just well pick something up, you know? If I'm like at home, I'm gonna be sad because then I have to leave and go get the free stuff. Aww. But if I'm about to drive somewhere, I check. I don't know why he's like he's really gonna fall. Like I keep trying to grab him because I'm scared he's gonna fall. Oh, he will. Whatever. It's his loss. So she tells me I have to go get some stuff. And she's gonna tell me in the car, and she just told me we have a suckish vacuum <laughs> that was like 30 bucks or something. 25. But it was like cheap, but it sucks. I hate it. So she found a Dyson for 50 bucks, for, and they're usually like 500. I know. <laughs> but yeah, so you know because you have one. Yes, I have a hair dryer Dyson, but she found a vacuum, and apparently it's 50 bucks, and apparently it works, and yeah. So that's crazy. And well, it's a major it deal. Work, it's 50 bucks. Yeah. I mean, for a Dyson. even if it doesn't work as an amazing as a Dyson would, it's still a better vacuum. Yeah. Right? For 50 bucks, which is not that bad. If it doesn't dollars. work, we could probably sell the parts for 50 bucks alone. Yeah. yeah. But she also found these shelves that were on Kijiji, but they were like, a, she said it was like a curbside or what is it, street side? Curb it's called alert? A, a curb alert, where somebody's putting something on the curb and they alert people that it's free and it's on the curb. Uh, yeah. Via Facebook Marketplace. So that's Kijiji. scary. I think we're going there first, right? Yeah, because that one's going to go, you know what I mean? And they're, um, they're bookshelves, and they look really nice. And we've been wanting white bookshelves. You guys saw we bought our plant stand. But they look really nice, so hopefully we see them. Hopefully they're still there. The last one's a suitcase, and it's free, so. Right <laughs> here. Look, maybe somebody just put it in. Could that be it? <gasps> that totally looks like you it. You think it is? That totally is it. <gasps> you should go in and ask. I think you put it right on the intersection so people would see it. Look in the car. It's so oh, tinted. In the car. Car. It's so dark, yeah. Do you want to ask him? Hey, I'm just wondering about the the bookshelves because I came here to grab some. Did you take them all? I just grabbed the white one. Is oh, that it? That's it? Oh wow. Is there, that was all that was left? The black one was gone already. Oh, oh okay. 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 Oh okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. I can't believe he snatched it from us. <laughs> so close. I see it's a competitive market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go That's to okay. the other one now. I don't know if you logged it, we should show the pictures we sent yesterday. What pictures? We got yesterday. Cup oh, art. yeah, I didn't show that. Yeah, okay, we show it now. <laughs> no other friend stuff. I feel like I've seen all over Facebook Marketplace or anything, like for sale. And the girl's just giving away for free. Yeah. And we're just gonna get cool frames for them and it's gonna go in the house. So, but my pick of the day, I found these like two pots. It was like a llama pot. Oh my god. A llama pot and a flamingo pot for my plants. And Elizabeth found a whole Dyson. <laughs> and I was like, look at this, Elizabeth, it's so cute. Let's go get it. And she's like looking at Dysons and everything. So it was like, look, when fine. I tell you you have to go quick, that Dyson thing was posted three minutes before I messaged God. Her. Three so minutes. Funny. We're at the Dyson place. Reese has chosen to sit on the floor in front of me. He literally like leaped under this. It looks pretty sketchy here. <laughs> it's kind of nasty. Hey. Thank you for Yeah, of course. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why is Canadian Tire all the way down here? We've gone down so many times. Oh, shit. Now you gotta pay, sis. Do I? Yeah, I think so. Look at that. Oh, no, maybe not. Yeah, right? Oh, shit. Elizabeth's been telling me, we need to go Canadian Tire. This one, this one. She's been telling me it's this one. And we get here and she's like, say, we're here for pickup. And I check, it's Eden Center, Elizabeth. She's like, oh, shit. <laughs> it is Eden Center. <laughs> This one's not the right this one. This one said it'll come in two weeks because they needed to ship it to the store, so I changed it to in center. So now we're all the way downstairs of this parking Four lot. Four levels down. <laughs> yeah. Whenever we're in the car, we always like try to know where we see is because like it's a car and he's obviously in it. But we're still like, where is he? Like we can't see him and we're scared he's gonna go under the seats and he just did. We heard him cry. What was he coming He sounded so close, that's why he wasn't here. He's on the back or underneath he's like on the floor. Under my seat. Yes, I hope he's gonna be okay. He's under there. He 
Did oh, he get he's out? out! He's out! That's right, he's out. Like Where'd he go? Out. There he is! He got out, he's fine. He's shaking, he's living his best he life. to see him get out. Oh, I see. He's going back in. Later. We cleaned the Dyson. We're gonna start and see if it works. Very loud. Yeah. But it seems pretty good. Yeah. So the tea is, is that every time I vacuum this room, look at this, this is all Elizabeth's hair falls out of this head. Mm. <laughs> Everywhere. I always have to brush it off with a comb. And then, you know, when it's like sur our surface level, then I vacuum it with our disgusting vacuum. So I'm hoping that this will do the trick without the combing. Okay, try. Kind of intensely. Elizabeth took that whole piece away, like took it like, apart. Yeah, it, it was yeah. full of hair. So it. And yeah, and then she put it together and it worked. So yeah. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure that's why she sold it, lady, because maybe it was like it wouldn't work because it was too hairy. She didn't clean it, and you have to take it apart. So yeah, I was so excited, and we didn't have to waste six hundred dollars. <laughs> Everything. Yeah. We call mush. Usually it's marble cheese with broccoli and rice and sometimes carrots and avocado apparently mixed into it and maybe lettuce. We're kind of forgetting it because it's been a while, but literally mush. Like it looks like mush and it's good. <laughs> and we didn't know how to cook, so we ate it <laughs> a lot. But now I've updated it. I've been experimenting in the kitchen and I, what do you call it? Like saute peppers and onion and mushrooms. But Elizabeth is a, a no mushroom, so they're all for me. And she's having chicken. So she wanted to make sandwiches today with mush and we're gonna try it and I'm excited. This panini press is uh, terrifying. Especially when you load it up this high. It's made for like a grilled cheese. Yes, it does whatever it wants. 